The Philippines and Australia share a strong commitment to gender equality. But late last year, with the release of the World Economic Forum's Global Gender Gap Report, we received the sobering news that on current trends, gender parity will not be achieved for almost 100 years. That obviously means that none of us will see gender parity in our lifetimes. So we need to ask the difficult questions. What went wrong? And what more needs to be done? Despite modest improvements over the past decade, women remain underrepresented in leadership positions, paid less than male colleagues, and are too often unable to access basic education and healthcare. With COVID-19, these conditions are likely to worsen for women and girls in the Philippines and around the world. Experience from past health and economic crises shows that women's economic security, participation in formal employment, political representation, and health and education outcomes tend to be more negatively impacted than men's. Without significant additional effort, the current crisis will damage women's economic security for years to come. Now, there are no simple solutions, but achieving gender equality is not just an aspiration. It is an imperative. And the reasons for this are very, very clear. Addressing violence against women and girls could raise global GDP by 2%, equivalent to 1.5 trillion US dollars. When 10% more girls go to school, a country's GDP increases by an average of 3%. Fully closing the gender pay gap would inject an additional 28 trillion US dollars into the global economy by 2025. These statistics only focus on the benefits to our markets and economies, but the potential impact is very, very significant. There are clear steps we can take to progress this agenda, even amid the global COVID-19 pandemic. If women are well represented in decision-making on policy responses to the crisis and meaningfully shape our recovery strategies, then the outcomes of this crisis can be different. The moral and economic imperatives to invest with a gender lens to unlock women's and girls' potential are even stronger in the wake of the pandemic. Governments and the private sector can ensure the investments they make to spur economic recovery empower both women and men. This will unlock new opportunities, mitigate market risks and build long-term economic resilience. Through our Investing in Women program, the Australian Government seeks to bolster economic growth through women's empowerment by catalyzing private finance for development. Women-led or owned SMEs have proven to be major drivers of inclusive economic growth and poverty alleviation. Yet they often lack access to the capital they need to grow. Australia is committed to working towards a strong recovery across the region in collaboration with public and private sector partners. Our Investing in Women program is working with investors across Southeast Asia to unlock additional regional and local pools of private capital to support a sustainable recovery. Gender lens investing, therefore, is key to unlocking new market opportunities and building long-term economic resilience. For private sector funders, this means working with businesses with the potential to improve socioeconomic outcomes for women at scale, helping financial institutions to offer alternative financing vehicles for women entrepreneurs who commonly face high barriers to entry, and investing in female leaders to accelerate the pace of social and economic change. Yet the true potential of this approach can only be realized through effective partnerships, whether it be by co-investing or simply learning from each other it must be an ecosystem level effort. Governments need to adopt gender smart policies. 
asset owners need to demand change. Grant makers must provide first risk capital and incubators and accelerators must build strong deal flows. This is why the Australian Government is collaborating with like-minded public and private sector leaders to pilot and scale innovative solutions that empower women and girls. Through our partnership with AVPN and its network of private sector funders, we will support businesses and investors to integrate a gender lens into their corporate investment and implementation strategies. We invite local funders, resource providers and capacity builders in the Philippines to become part of this new gender smart investment ecosystem. I hope that this conference will contribute to equitable outcomes and ensure that women are not left behind as we bolster gender equitable investments to shape the recovery. Thanks very much. All the very best.